Yes, they are. Tomorrow, the celebration shifts to New York City right here. They will be honored with a ticker tape parade and keys to the city. With me now, I am so excited to tell you two members of the winning team, Rose Lavelle and Kelly O'Hara. I squealed when they told me this morning <laughs> that you guys were coming on. So congratulations, and thank you for what you've done for America, for all of sport, for young girls, for young boys watching you. I told you the plane I was on watching yeah. on the way back. The entire plane was just cheering at each goal. So thank you guys for being here. Of course. Um, Thanks for having us. Of course. Rose, <laughs> to you, you are the second youngest American to score in a World Cup match. Uh, you scored three goals in this tournament. Yes. As, as you look at this and where you were at the last Women's World Cup final, right, watching in a pizza shop, how big was this for you? Um, yeah, I mean, it's it's like so weird when um, something that you've seen yourself, you've wanted to do for so long, kind of like finally comes to fruition. But um, I think I'm just so proud to be a part of this team. And I, it, this isn't about me. It's about this team and about um, everyone who supported us along the way and has helped us get here. And yeah. um, I feel so lucky. You battled, Kelly, uh, <laughs> recent battle, ankle injury, etc. Yeah. That must make this win even sweeter. Yeah, a lot of people have asked um, if this feels different than 2015, and it does. All the, you know, all the different wins and major tournaments feel different, but this one was definitely um, a different point in my life and stage of my career, and um, thankfully I was able to be a part of it and be a part of this amazing team. Um, I wouldn't be here without my teammates and my support crew and everybody in my life. And um, yeah, it's it's a pretty sweet feeling. Uh, this Nike ad, I'm sure you guys have seen it, that ran after you guys won. There's this one part I of it that I... Okay, well, good. Yeah. Well, let's watch, <laughs> because here's the part that really strikes me. Okay. Let's watch it, guys. I believe that we will be four-time champions and keep winning until we not only become the best female soccer team, but the best soccer team in the world and that a whole generation of girls and boys will go out and play and say things like, I want to be like Megan Rapino when I grow up. What I loved about that, you can have water, relax. <laughs> we, we need it. We got we need all day. It. You deserve some champagne as well. <laughs> we should, Just saying. Enough. But hearing that, that you hear her say that one day we will get to a place where little girls and little boys will say, we want to play like Megan Rapino. Right, and like all of you, what what does that mean to you in this moment of a true fight for equality for I think all of us women? Yeah, I don't think that it's one day we'll get there. I think we're there. I think there are little boys, and I know little girls that say that and want to be like Megan Rapino and um, and Rose and exactly. Rose Lavelle and and everybody and just <coughs> aspire to to be brilliant. Um, and yeah, I think we're there. But where you're not there, Rose, is on equal pay. You guys are not paid <coughs> equally. Sorry. And I think that's okay. Do you want another <laughs> sip of water? Take another sip of water. <laughs> because this is a this is a really important <coughs> fight you now face. Yes, at home. for sure, for sure. On gender discrimination that you guys are alleging against the US Soccer uh, Federation, saying we perform, outperform the men. Look at the revenue we bring in, look at the ratings you brought in versus the men's yeah. World Cup last year. Um, but you're not paid equally. Did this win get you closer to winning that fight? Yeah, I think that this win changes the conversation to do we deserve it to, okay, how are we actually going to get the action? What are we going to see um, from FIFA, from US Soccer, from the sponsors? Because we've always been about pushing forward, not just for ourselves, but for the world. And um, I think this win was another step in the right direction and just shows that we do deserve it. And they do have to but, now have action behind it. But should it, Rose, take this win? Right? Should you have to have all of these wins to just get equality, to no. just get equal pay? No. No, but, I mean, I think this kind of is the statement that um, we need. And I think, like I said, it's not really about, it's not um, do we deserve it anymore. That's, that conversation has passed, and now it's what do we need to do next. One thing that I noticed was it was back in high school for you, Kelly, that you talked about first no noticing gender inequality. And mm -hmm. I think all women, we've all seen it in different ways in our lives. I think I've been far more fortunate than many women in terms of not feeling like I faced a lot of discrimination, but I've certainly gone through some. Yeah. When did you first start feeling it as a high school player? It actually wasn't high school, it was more so college, um, just because you can see the difference in what uh, the football players get 
American football players get um, compared to you know women's soccer and um, I went to an amazing athletic school in Stanford and they treated us really really well but it's just that's par for the course unfortunately and that was really the first time that I felt it um, I was lucky enough to grow up like you not really feeling it and kind of always thought I was better than the boys uh, <laughs> and I think that's just how my parents raised me thankfully mm -hmm. um, but yeah I think in college is when I first felt it and then becoming a professional soccer player then you really really feel it Rose, uh, if the president invites you guys to the White House, we'll see. He says they're thinking <laughs> about it. Do you want to go? Is that important for you and the team? I think we're kind of all on the same page with this. Um, kind of, I guess, we'll cross that bridge when we get there. But, um, yeah, right now we're just celebrating. But I, I think we're on the same page. Which it. is what page is that, Kelly? Um, are you going or are you not? I think that's a conversation we have to have as a team. And I think that, well, like she said, deal with it after we enjoy all this time together. What about Congress? You've been invited I to know. Capitol Hill. Yeah, I think that's, an, yeah, we'll have to talk about it. We, we're pretty busy ladies. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Our well, schedules are full, but uh, yeah, it'd be pretty cool to do that. You're so busy. Thank you so much for taking the time to be here today. Highlight of my day for sure. We're excited for tomorrow. We're going to have live special coverage. My colleagues, Allison Camerata, Dave Briggs are going to be down at the awesome. parade. Have fun. It's so going to be great. Yeah, yeah come out. It. We'll see you guys tomorrow in New York. I mean, our, my three-year-old daughter and one-year-old <laughs> son will be reading about you in the history books. Yeah, they will. Awesome. Pretty great. Congrats, awesome. guys. Thank, Thank you. Thanks very much.